is Amanda Silverstein. I'm a junior. I am majoring in education and public policy, which is one major, and my minor is in theater, and I am from Kensington, Maryland. Well, I decided to be an education and public policy major because it's a very general major. Um, a lot of people actually don't know about it, and I just did some searching and I found it. And in the description of the major, at the bottom it just says, for students who are interested in working in social justice. And I thought that really spoke to me because I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but I know that I love social justice and community service, no matter what it is. And so when I talked to like the advisors in the college, they said that I could basically do whatever I wanted in that sphere. So I realized this year actually that I love the arts and theater and singing and everything, even though that's not my major. And so I really want to combine those two things. And I think arts fits into that because Without like arts in education, you have kind of a bland experience. And everybody has creativity and everybody from a really young age should learn how to utilize that in whatever way they speak to. So for the musical theater major, we have evals at the end of the, each semester. And last, my sophomore spring semester, I had my evaluation. I love all the professors in school theater. They are absolutely amazing. And they all go around and they tell you how you did in the semester and they all told me really great things. And I got good grades in all my classes. But then I, I asked one of them, how do you keep doing shows? If you're in a show as a professional, how do you keep doing them and not feel like stuck or like you're not doing something for someone else because you're not getting like direct feedback and he was like every 200th something show you have one person that goes up to you and says wow that that really was amazing job that you just did that was an amazing show and that is what makes you keep going and that's amazing that people can do that but as soon as I finished my eval I walked across the street to the College of Education and I went to the advising office and I said, I'm interested in changing my major. Um, is there somebody that I can talk to about that? And I don't really know why immediately after my eval I went, but there was something in me that just said like, why are you still like doing this if it's not 100% exactly what you want to do? Because during that eval I was thinking, well, I could be I could be getting direct feedback for something that I'm doing for someone else, which might sound kind of selfish at first, but it that's what I wanted. And there's so many other things that I can see myself doing that I love theater so much, but having one person every 200th show say that I was doing something for them is like really, really would be really hard. <laughs> so I walked right into the education building and that's when, yeah, that was when I decided I wanted to do something different and make my own path. Mm -hmm.